And here is just a close-up of the beautiful baby blanket. So you can see the beautiful pattern that this crochet pattern creates. And then you have the ruffled border. And then here is some more of the border. And you can see just how beautiful this baby blanket looks when you're done. And here it is, all folded with a beautiful bow placed on it. And there are 32 rows. The size is 32 and a half inches by 37 inches. And this is what it looks like when you're done. For this project, you're going to need your J or 6 millimeter crochet hook, as well as your tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. For the baby blanket, I used um, the yarn that I use is Bernat Softy Baby, and the color is Soft Lilac. And I used five skeins, and this is what's left of the fifth skein. And I'm going to use this to show you how to make the baby bonnet. But you can use any purple color that you want. On video, it looks like a light blue, but it's actually a really pretty pastel or lavender purple. And for the beige looking color, I used Pound of Love Lion Brand yarns. And this color is actually an antique white color. So to get started on the blanket, again, I used Bernat Softy Baby. Um, and this color was the soft lilac color. But you could use any other soft yarn if you wanted to get a bigger um, yarn ball to make this project. This project was 140 grams. 5 ounces and I used 5 and this is the fifth skein that's left over. I'm not going to make this to scale. I'm going to make a smaller version and if you wanted to practice you can make this smaller version with me but if you're going to go ahead and make your baby blanket then you would make a chain of 102 and for this practice I'm going to do a chain of 27. So the first thing that you're going to do is just fold your yarn, whatever yarn color you're using for the main color of the blanket, fold it over into a loop, and then I'm using my J or 6 millimeter crochet hook, just put it right through the loop, and then you take your middle finger and your thumb and hold it at the base of that loop, and then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then pull the yarn through the loop for your slip knot. And now you're going to make your chain. And in order to do that, you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one, two, three, four. And you can see how I'm making a chain. So for if you're making the big blanket, you would go ahead and do a chain of 102. And if you're following along with me, then go ahead and do a chain of 27. So here, for the smaller version, I have a chain of 27 and if you're going to go ahead and make the big baby blanket then you would chain 102 and you would work it the same way as me except yours will be bigger. So here you're going to hold that last stitch that you made with your middle finger and thumb and we're going to move up to the next row. So go ahead and do a chain three, one, two, Three, and that's going to count as your first double crochet for the next row. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, which is the stitch that you're holding. Go ahead and yarn over, go into that fourth chain from the hook, which is the stitch that you are holding. We're going to bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And now we're going to do a double crochet into every stitch back across to the beginning. So you yarn over, 
go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So I'm going to do one more with you, yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So go ahead and finish doing one double crochet into every stitch all the way back across. So you should have finished doing a double crochet all the way across back to where we started and now we're going to move up to the next row. So you're going to go ahead and do a chain three, one, two, three, and then turn your work. And now here you can see where I have a little slight curve up at the foundation stitch at the base of the chain three. You're not going to work into that stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and then you're going to work a double crochet into that second stitch. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip a stitch, and then you're going to work a double crochet into that second stitch. And then you're going to work one more double crochet in that same stitch. So yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. Now you're going to work two double crochet into the skipped stitch. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go behind the skipped stitch under both loops. So you can see how I went behind and went under both loops of that skipped stitch. Bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. And I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go back behind that skipped stitch under both loops, bring up a loop, and I'm going to do another double crochet into that same stitch. And you can see how those two double crochets in each of those stitches creates a nice crossed pattern. Then you're going to take and yarn over, and go into the next in between the stitch that you did your double crochets and the next stitch. You're going to go between those two double crochet on the previous row behind the next stitch double crochet. You're going to bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two for a front post double crochet. Then you're going to skip a stitch, you're going to yarn over, skip a stitch, and work your double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to do two double crochet into that stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, you're going to go into the skipped stitch, you're going to go behind it, go under both loops of that skipped stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then I'm going to do another double crochet into that same skipped stitch. And then I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to go behind the double crochet on the previous row of the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And you can see the beautiful pattern that it's creating. So I'm going to go ahead and work with you across.
And you can see how I'm holding my hand too to help stabilize the crochet work as I'm working. Now, as we move close to the end, no matter where you end up, you're going to do your last double crochet cross stitch. And if you only had two stitches left, then you would do a double crochet into that last stitch. But since I have one stitch left, I'm going to do a front post double crochet into that, around that stitch. But you should always end either with the front post double crochet or with a double crochet stitch. Then you go ahead and start the new row and you always start with a chain three, one, two, three, and then turn your work. And now we're going to do, you're always going to have a double crochet cross stitch above the previous rows cross stitch and you'll always have a front post double crochet around a front post double crochet. That way your work will always be straight and won't be crooked. So I'm going to show you how to do this for this row. So now, right before the stitch where you have your front post double crochet, you're going to do a double crochet into the stitch right before the front post double crochet stitch. And then you're going to do two double crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to yarn over and go into the skipped stitch right before it and do your two double crochet. And then you're going to do your front post double crochet around the previous rows front post double crochet and then you can see how the cross stitches line up right above the previous rows cross stitch and then the front post double crochets also line up. So I'm going to work this row with you so you can see how I work the stitches. So I'm going into the stitch right before the front post double crochet and I'm going to do my two double crochet into the same stitch and then two double crochet into the skipped stitch. And then I'm going to do my front post double crochet around the previous rows, front post double crochet.
Christian. So once you get the hang of it, you can see what an easy pattern and stitch this is. And it just creates a very beautiful blanket, baby blanket. And then we just have a couple more left for this row. And this is all there is to it, to this pattern. And then the last one. And then I just want to show you this again. So I just finished my double crochet cross stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with my front post double crochet. Like I said, you should always end up with your double crochet or front post double crochet to make a nice straight edge on your blanket. And then you would start the next row with a chain three. One, two, three. And then you just keep making the same pattern all the way across keep rotating and turning back and forth so I completed four rows and you can see how straight the edges are which is how yours should be and then each row should have the cross stitches should be right above each other and for the big blanket you're going to do 32 rows and then the size should be 32 and a half inches by 37 inches including this, the border, but you can make it any size that you want. Now to do the border, we're going to have to finish doing um, the purple border first and then we're going to switch to do the shells. And what you're going to do after you finish your last row, you're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three and then we're going to do a row of double crochet just like we did for the other side so you're going to turn your work now above each cross stitch you're going to have three double crochet so you're not going to go into the base the foundation stitch of your first chain three you're going to skip the next stitch and then work into that second stitch so you're going to do a double crochet into the second stitch and then you're going to skip another stitch and then work a double crochet into that second stitch and then you're going to do a double crochet over the front post double crochet of the previous row 
and you can see how the double crochets are looking. So then now you're over a cross stitch on the previous row. So you're going to skip a stitch, work a double crochet into the second stitch. Then you're going to skip a stitch, work a double crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to keep doing double crochets spreading out the double crochets over the cross stitch and then doing a double crochet over the front post double crochet of the previous stitch and you're going to do that all the way across skip a stitch double crochet skip a stitch double crochet and then double crochet over the front post double crochet and do that all the way across to the end so I've reached the other end and this is how my work looks so far and I have one stitch left that last chain three or double crochet I need to do a double crochet into that stitch and then you can see how it makes the nice rectangular shape that you want and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet stitch all the way around the blanket. So you're going to turn to work along the side and you can see on the side you have your double crochets or your front post double crochets that you made all down the side. We're going to do two single crochet into each of those spaces. So you're going to go into that first space and then do two single crochet. One, two, and then go into the next space two single crochet. So along each of those side double crochets you're going to do two single crochets in those spaces. and you can see how it's looking and then the last space and then you're going to turn and then when you're going across the bottom it's easy because you have the stitches to work into so then you're going to work into that first stitch and at the same time you can bury any loose yarn ends that you come across so you go behind the loose yarn end bring up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and go through both for a single crochet and then you just do a single crochet into every stitch and then you're going to go ahead and do that all the way and then do the same two single crochets all along the side and then one single crochet all the way back to where you started and then come back and then once you've reached the beginning single crochet you can do a slip stitch just go into that stitch bring up a loop and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then you can go ahead and finish off yarn over and bring enough yarn through actually you don't need to finish off you can go ahead and just grab your next colored yarn for the border and then you can just take and hook that yarn through and then you're going to do a chain one so you yarn over bring the yarn through for chain one and then turn your work over and you can cut your previous yarn now and then just tie a knot and now you're ready for your shells so then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and do a chain three one two three and then you're going to do one more double crochet in the same stitch I'm going behind my loose yarn ends and then I'm going to chain two 
one, two, and then do two more double crochet in the same stitch. And this is the shell that we're going to do all the way around the blanket. Now you're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then work into the fourth stitch, yarn over, work a double crochet into that fourth stitch, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and you're just going to work that pattern all the way to the end and then I'll show you how to turn the corner. And this is how your pretty shells should be looking around the blanket. When you get to a corner, you're just going to skip two stitches and then work your double crochet into that third stitch. Then chain two, work your two double crochet to make your shell. And then you're going to skip one stitch and do a shell into the second stitch. And then you can see how the shell will lay flat and won't curl up as you go around the corner. So go ahead and finish working your shells all the way around the blanket and then come back. Now when you're back to the first shell that you made, you can go ahead and do a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first double crochet. Just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch and then finish off. And just bring enough yarn through to bury your loose yarn ends into your work. And you have a little miniature version of your baby blanket. And to bury the loose yarn ends, you just take your tapestry needle and place it onto the loose yarn end. And then you just take and just weave the loose yarn end through the work. And then just cut any loose yarn ends. Just go ahead, finish burying any of your loose yarn ends. And you can use this for your teddy bear or doll's baby blanket.